Begin by measuring the circumference of the patient approximately one inch above the widest part of the hips. Match the patient's size to the sizing chart. If patient's circumferential measurement is between sizes, select the larger brace. Open both of the interior side Velcro panels. Keep the shoulder straps attached and extend to maximum length. With the patient standing, lift the TLSO over the patient's head. Lower the TLSO into position, keeping the patient's head between the two shoulder straps. Let the front interior panel and back posterior panel hang over the torso. Close both of the compression side panels so that they are even and comfortably snug on the interior panel. Adjust the sternal Y bar while the patient is seated in the prescribed posture. Pull up on the black release button on the top portion of the interior panel to release the sternal bar lock. Slide the sternal Y bar into position so that the top part of the sternal pad fits one half inch below the sternal notch. Be sure to keep the bottom edge of the anterior panel aligned with the pubic symphysis. To adjust the shoulder straps, release and adjust the posterior Velcro straps first. Adjust to desired length. Be sure to maintain the bottom edge of the front panel with the pubic bone and the back panel between shoulder blades and lower back. If the patient prefers the underarm shoulder strap option, release the posterior Velcro from the back panel and insert into lateral strap slot. Adjust to desired length. To activate compression, grasp pull handle and pull straight out of the torso. After the desired level of compression has been achieved, fasten the pull handle to the interior portion of the compression panels. Adjust compression after five minutes, then readjust as needed. To remove the brace, release the compression handles and remove one of the shoulder straps. Release one side of the side panel from the front panel. Then slide the orthosis off the other shoulder, like removing a jacket or a backpack. Customizing the TLSO should be performed only by a suitably trained professional. If the waist belt needs to be modified, adjust the side panels by unhooking the Velcro on the back panel. Move the panels closer to the center for a smaller waist or closer to the edge of the back panel for a larger waist. The stock sternal Y bar is set at 15 degrees. It may be bent as needed by using a stable edge of a table. Using both hands, bend the bar in a slow and controlled fashion to adjust the desired degree of offset. If patient will use a hot cold pack with the TLSO, follow the instructions on the pack. Insert hot cold pack into the pocket and adhere to the back panel. To lengthen the pull tab, unwind lace from the spool. When you have the desired length, place the lace spool back into the pull tab pocket. To shorten the length of the pull tab, wind lace around the spool. To insert or remove the front belt panel, open the inside panel pocket and insert or remove the semi-rigid panel. If a patient experiences post-surgical swelling, followed by weight loss, the TLSO brace is designed with two adjustable belts, which can be easily sized to achieve optimal fit. Only the soft goods can be cleaned. Before cleaning, remove the rear panel.